It is game week on the bluff. That's because it is football season for the Southern Jaguars. But it's hard to imagine a game day at A.W. Mumford Stadium without the usual smells and tailgating before first game. But let's take you out to the bluff to kick off our coverage of kickoff and our very own Jared Joseph standing by with an explanation out there at Ace Mumford Stadium. Hey, Jared, Southern football back on the field and back here in Baton Rouge. Yeah, Brian, that's right. Southern football, the long wait is almost over for Jaguar action on the bluff. Now, remember, the last time Southern played a home game and the first time they'll play one this season, the difference in days is 483. Now, that's a long layoff for the Jaguars. Of course, they had to wait and stay on the sidelines during the fall football season in 2020 while Power 5 schools were in action. But finally, this weekend, the curtain rises on Jaguar football at A.W. Mumford Stadium. Now, the last time Southern played at the stadium, there was a blowout victory. Victory, destroying Virginia Lynchbrook 58 to 7 to end their home schedule. But Saturday is unfortunately the only home game slated for the Jaguars after Alcorn State opted out of the spring season. Now the stadium can only seat 25% of its current capacity due to COVID-19 restrictions, meaning only around 7,000 Jaguar fans can view the game in person. But just because Southern Faithful can't be at the game doesn't mean they won't be celebrating any less. Let's party. We're going to barbecue. We Move the pit around. We're getting things ready for people to come out, enjoy themselves, wear their masks, be safe. Sitting outside, looking at the game on the TV, eating and enjoy. I'm hoping that they win. I feel like if the weather is right, everybody's going to be out there. And I'm hoping that I see the players come in here and get some of our chicken <laughs> and they don't be hurt. Uh, Brian, you were talking about that great tailgating, but unfortunately that won't be happening, like you said, due to COVID restrictions. No tailgating on the bluff, but as you can see, the Jaguar fans are making sure they bring the action and the environment to their own backyards. Covering Southern football on the bluff. Brian, back to you.